Well, this is an interesting thing I literally just discovered. What, that you can use the touch screen portion to move yourself around? Yes. That's why it's important to read the tutorials. This wasn't in any of the tutorials. This is why it's important to read the instruction manual. This didn't come with an instruction manual. This is why you should... Wait. The game didn't come with an instruction manual? No, Azura. This ROM... This uh, ROM didn't come with an instruction manual. No. Okay, well, you should have looked it up. It's a rune factory! How complicated could it possibly be, right? Welcome back to Harvest Rune. I still Wait. don't understand why the series is called Rune Factory. Wait a sec, it's raining? Looks like it. Alicia said... Alicia said it would be sunny today. I'd asked for her for a weather prediction. She was all like, it's going to be sunny. I'm like, okay, cool. Oh, uh, wait, no, that's right. I couldn't ask her for a... Wait, I couldn't ask her for a weather prediction because of the festival. Yeah. Right, drat. So I guess it's just going to rain then. So it looks like, uh... Unlike Rune Factory 1, weather is predicted uh, ahead of time, or weather is selected ahead of time. So in Moon Factory 1, if you just, like, save before bed and just keep, like, sleeping, it will change the weather. Oh. So if you have, like, a hail day coming up, or, like, a blizzard, or whatever, or a tornado, you can just, like, go back to your save the night before, sleep again. So a Rune Factory task should, in theory, be able to, uh, Ensure that, like, say, every day is a rainy day, so you never have to water your crops. Although I'm not entirely sure if a room factory task would actually have uh, crops growing out on the field, but, you know, like, it could. None of my animals like me yet. Yeah, did you get the animals you need yet? Oh yeah, I got all of them. Well, all of them that I can get now. Lock. Yeah, I figured that was an accurate name. I only have four feed, but I need 16 per day, so... Mm. I like just harvest the strawberries. Yeah, those aren't ready to grow yet. There is a certain someone in town I need to get to like me more so I can get a harvest basket so I can start uh, taking eggs from all of my chickens. Ooh. So I need to go and start doing requests. And her request will be to get her an apple. Uh, you. So yeah, Ali. Yesterday I had a bit of fun uh, downloading free demos of games on Steam. We played that, was it Deck Builder Poetry game? It was an interesting game. 
Oh, hi. Ooh. Alicia has a favor to ask, but I don't know where Alicia is. Yeah, so I can just ask Alicia where she likes to hang out uh, during the rainy days. Uh, she hangs up in the Pumpkin General store on rainy days. Good to know. Should I stay forest? Should I stay forest? Grassy path. Just stay for us, grassy path. Got it. Oh, the apple tree is over here this whole time. Yeah, we played a deck building poetry AI game thing. Which was okay, but apparently the full game doesn't actually have a lot more than the demo does, so not so much point in uh, buying it now. And I played some sort of zombie base building tower defense sort of game with some resource management aspects that reminded me a fair bit of Rebuild. Perfect. Alicia, let's help you. Welcome, friend. I also want to get some monster food.
Yeah, I don't know why you can only buy in like s just a single stack at a time and then you have to leave, go back in. Weird. I mean, it seems like she, what she's doing is she's trying to hook us up with her. Which seems weird. I came over to talk to you earlier today. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I only talked to you because you were there. But still. Well, ghosts only come out at night, so it doesn't matter right now. Yeah, it looks like she doesn't do fortunes uh, unless it's unless she's outside. <coughs> <coughs> it's so weird that she refuses to do fortunes basically every other day. All right, now who is Douglas? <laughs> I mean, woof. <coughs> oh, my. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Hold on. A moment. That was bad. Not sure what was just happening there, but okay. Just need to get a little bit more hydrated. I suppose. I mean, hey, at least we're talking to everybody in town. That's important, too. Just give it to her. She's right next to you. Wait, I have to wonder. Huh. 
So can I just sell this letter back to them? Do it. Too late. Can you tell them I'm not mad? Uh, hey, Douglas, your daughter's not mad at you. She's right next to you. Bunch of log okay, it looks like the logs are in log storage. Good. Log. Yep. I'm sure the time that we'll be needing them is right on the horizon. I mean, after originally trusting me to uh, deliver an emery flower, I guess I could be trusted to deliver health supplements and everything else. You're a courier. I mean, I just hope it doesn't get me shot in the head for my efforts. Oh, look, Alicia likes us even more now. So now let's go back to the clinic and talk. Yeah, let's go see what's going on. See, the real you will lose something very dear to you is actually that she was going to lose Alicia. I mean, I can see why the game kind of goes out in a direction as to talk about, hey, you should get married. Marriage, marriage, marriage. 
to encourage the player, hey, get married and unlock the full game. This is not like Grand Factory 4 where you can only do two quests a day. Alright, Cecilia, you want some poisonous plants for your cooking? Indigo grass. Do you think I can ask you for help? No. Wow, I don't actually have indigo grass with me. Lame. It won't kill you. I mean, it probably won't. Hey, a brush! That sounds like it will be useful. For my celebration of monsters! It's only like noon. Easy, safe, guaranteed to be worth your while. Guarantee is not a guarantee. Save the game real quick. Wait, can I not go to Agus Falls?
Oh, right, because this isn't the forest, this is the valley. Okay, that explains so much. Silly Claire, you went to the wrong place. Yeah, forgive me for thinking that the place covered in trees might not be a forest. I know, I see a lot of trees in here. Are we gonna be here a while looking for an arrowhead? It's such a shame that the demo of that zombie game only lasts eight days, because it's just barely enough to really get started with everything. <coughs> you know, there's a, a game that I've, I know I've played twice a, in my life, but ostensibly it was supposed to be a demo with a sort of time limit to it. The thing is, it only factors that in if you stop playing, so both times I play through to the end, uh, just because I only did it in one sitting. Unfortunately, I also didn't get like the best ending both times, even though I had an idea what to do the second time, but I just uh, messed up. Yeah, that's the problem. You can't really do much about that, you know, when, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of demos that have, uh, time constraint, uh, apparently Super Smash Bros. for the Wii has, like, demos of, like, the games that the characters are from. So it has a... I think it's a five minute, maybe 25 minute demo of Ocarina of Time. It's like you go in, there are already three save files at different points in the game. I think one is literally just starting the game, but right after the introductory cutscene. Uh, one is... Uh, you just barely have enough and you've become, you know, adult, just got the Master Sword. And one is basically, I think it's like a 100% file. So you can mess around and see what kind of stuff you can do once you have everything unlocked. Turns out that that, like, five minutes or whatever is enough to actually just flat out go and beat the game. Uh. But you have to do a lot of glitches to actually do that. But not only that, uh, you can beat the game in two separate ways. You can beat Ganondorf or you can watch the end credits. You can't actually do both. Oh. Yeah, you can take the fully completed file and, you know, race Ganondorf's tower, fight him, like glitch into the ending shot and kill him like three seconds before the demo runs out or you can start at the just start the game file and run warp to the end credits kind of want to just reset because i didn't get that arrowhead but it's also Only like 4 p.m. I could also just 
go for the bathhouse and, you know, take this XP. You know what? I'll just, I'll go for the reset. Reset strats! I personally prefer it when a demo is not time-based, when it's based off of, like, you can do these certain things at, like, once you reach, like, this cliffhanger in the plot, then you're done. Because then you can spend as much time as you want, like, messing around until you go and do that one part of the plot, and then it's like, okay... Now you have to get the full game. And also, I remember way, way back in the... Hello, what are you doing? Way, way back in the early days of the Xbox 360. I, okay, I don't know why, but for some reason I thought you were going to say way, way back in the 80s. <laughs> I wasn't alive in the 80s. I was. I was a baby, but I was. Uh, yeah, no, I'm a 90s kid, 90s baby. Um, what was I saying? Right, right. In the early days of the Xbox 360, you could hook your console up to the internet and download, like, free game demos, like, as they got released or something. And that was something that I really liked, because this was still kind of my introduction to getting games more frequently than once every five or six months when my parents would finally like buy me a game as like a birthday or christmas gift sort of deal when i could start just getting games so i'd get these game demos and just play them over and over and over again and eventually when i begged my parents enough to like get me like xbox game points cards I bought some of these games, and I totally want to do a Let's Play of Cloning Clyde at some point. Because that <laughs> game was fun and silly. Just like you. And I haven't been able to play it in years because of how Xbox profiles decided to change how they worked. Because way, way back then, I was under the age of 13, so I had to get, like, a child's profile and, like, make a parent's profile to, like, allow me access to stuff, blah, 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 because that's, you know, how it's supposed to be, and so I stuck to those rules. But in order to log on to that same profile, even though it's been more than 10 years later and it should know that it shouldn't be a child's profile anymore, I still have to get, like, my parents' profile signed on, which wouldn't be so bad, except the email that was used is no longer in use. So I tried even, like, years and years ago, and, like, it was my dad's old email, and, yeah, he had no, like, he didn't know the password, I had no way to get the password back, so I basically had no way to actually get onto my old profile to re-download those games. And because my original Xbox 360 suffered Red Ring of Death, and apparently you need the actual console, not just the hard drive, because the hard drive was detachable, yeah, I lost access to anything that I bought on that. That sucks. That, that's stupid. Yes. But if I had just not made that a child, like a children's profile to begin with, I would have been able to get on and get those games. Or if, you know... I knew my dad's old password for his old email address. I could have got on and gone those games. But instead, I guess I'll just have to taunt them or else, you know, buy them a second time, which I don't want to do. So I'll just have to, like, download those games and try to get, like, an Xbox 360 emulator or something. And then I can play Cloning Clyde and whatever else again. I kind of want to just do a series where I play, like, those, like, cheap, like, Xbox 360 games like that because they were kind of silly fun so 
So just kind of want to do all of that again. But, but yeah, that's just like the, the thing. It's like, hey, here's like some free games. You can't really get past like level two or three, but you can still get stuff. A fried eggs. Your payment will be 5,000. Not 5,000 G, but 5,000. Yo, I like to buy your fried eggs. Welcome, friend. Welcome, friend. Welcome to the dungeon. We've got fun and games. I'm pretty sure it's welcome to the jungle, but, uh... Are you sure? And so these people are just so lazy. Herman doesn't want to go down to the shop to buy himself a fried eggs. He wants to go down to the bulletin board, post a thing, wait for someone to find it, come along, get it, and then tell them... Yeah, I'll, I want you to buy me a fried eggs. I'll pay you triple the price for a fried eggs. I'd like to fry your eggs. Yeah. I think fried is like basically the only way that I really stand eggs. Then maybe poached? What, you don't like scrambled? Not really, no. Why not? I don't know. I just don't really like scrambled eggs. It's like weird. Is it the flavor or the consistency? I'm not sure. I just know that I've like I've had scrambled eggs on multiple occasions before. And it's like I'd really just rather not have them like Hello. that. Good afternoon. And I don't know what it is. That I don't like about that. Interesting. Uh, what is the style of egg for like eggs Benedict? Is that poached? Uh, Hi. let's see here. <laughs> oh, right, no, screw it. Julia runs. Yeah, it's poached. Yeah. Eggs Benedict is a toasted English muffin topped with a slice or two of Canadian bacon, a poached egg, and smothered in hollandaise sauce. Oh my gosh, Eggs Benedict is so good. Have you had Egg Florentine? Probably. What is that? The difference, with, the difference between them is Egg Florentine adds spinach. I probably had that. I've had like Eggs Benedict with like bacon, like not Canadian bacon, but like bacon. Not as good. Yeah. to make the ants like me. Hey look, it's my army of chickens. By the way, do you already have wolves yet? No, because apparently the way to really win the monster uh, contest is literally to catch a wolf that day to use it. Because if it likes you more, then it does worse in the monster catching than like the monster contest. What? Okay, that that's weird. That goes against what I was. Yeah, I did a bit of Google googling about it, and that's what everyone was saying.
Good job, Cinnamon. Catch that bug. Yeah, because that's the weird thing. Like, this one says to me, even when you go to a second portion and can get a better wolf, keep your first gen wolf for winning the monster contest. I, just, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. Where is Yue right now? <clears throat> okay, here's an interesting thing here, looking at Alicia. Uh, her weather and locations predictions are always accurate, while her love readings will be too, though she will ignore Julia. Interesting. Well, I guess I can't help you, eh? Because I have no idea where she is. Blessia Island Center. My phone's giving me a lot of logs. Welcome, friend. Log. Huh. Making about 1,400 a day from all of my chickens. Right. That's not bad. You know, I mean, that's, uh... How much money do you need to build up? A million? I'm at about 26k right now. Let's see here. The thing recommends what is it, the 100,000 gold and 1,000 wood. But about 600 more wood and 200, 250,000 more gold. But you can worry about that after. Bathhouse is closed on Mondays. Waiting to like build up the, your money and stuff in the first portion. Apparently, only hurts your chance to win the cooking competition. 
What? That's what this says. Building up your money hurts your chance to win the cooking contest? Apparently. Apparently? But rather, your waiting only hurts your chance to win the cooking competition, which isn't all that important, and you can just wait until the next game year to win it if you fail the first time. Weird. Gordon, Gordon, which one is Gordon? I think the priest. I wonder if there's a good sale day, uh, buy some platinum. Why do I think? So why the one I think it is? Ooh, yeah, water you're ray. You're ray. Good. Which one is Roy then? Isn't Roy really Alicia's brother? No, that's Ray. Oh. That's bad storytelling, giving two people with very similar names. Yes, and they're not even like twins. The honestly the worst name that I've seen in this whole thing is Rune. Like, who names their kid Rune? Someone is trying to make a factory, honestly. To be, to be fair, there is a character called Mana, and Rune and Mana are basically the same thing. I, I am mostly joking, because I know that you made named him Rune, right? Maybe. Because I'm pretty sure the default name is Kyle. I have no idea where Roy is. Oops, I did it again. Uh, patrol the town, ba ba ba, can't do it alone, people to help me out. Uh-oh. I can't talk to everyone in town! Can't talk to everyone in town because some people just don't exist today! Oh. Julia lives at the bathhouse and apparently never leaves the building unless it's like a festival. But I can't go into the bathhouse because it's closed today. So I cannot talk to Julia today, period. Well, that sucks. So I have to go all the way back here. Hey, do you think she dropped her brooch in the bathhouse? Shut it! Okay, this uh, would be I a really interesting story beat if it was the case of, like, she's trying to keep a secret because... Blah, 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 evil, whatever. Instead of just a... She's so shy, she doesn't want... Just doesn't want to, uh... Say that she needs help. You saying something? Uh, I mean, not specifically. It is really interesting that when you then this game if you find something that like a character has lost whatever you could very well just like sell the item and get a bit of extra money i found her ruby brooch i could probably just sell it or even like just equip it 
Okay. Oh, wait, Here's what I suggest. Save, sell it, and find out what happens. I don't wanna. It's not worth much. Okay. Yeah, what if I accidentally give it to the wrong person? Sweetie Potato! Sweetie Bot. That's eh, alright. You. Um... I think everything is fine. Welcome, friend. Spring special. I guess I'll buy two more strawberry seeds. Just to uh, go in that one other place, even though... All of these are level one. I don't know how to grow them past level one, but I probably can't grow them past level one in the first segment of the game, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go and grow a another few batches to you way. Nope. Well, I'm still cost 8,800. <laughs> well, that's been all long good. Since I can't use the bathhouse, I might as well just stay here Pardon. to do... Th Pardon? If you can't use the bathhouse, you may as well just use your watering can and just clean yourself that way. Well, no, I mean, because the bathhouse restores health and rune points. Hello, Cinnamon! Meow. Sorry, he ran in from outside the room, sprinted through the room, jumped into the window. Like, bonk? I mean, kind of like a bonk. <laughs> like, he ran up and, like, grabbed onto, like, the, uh, mesh, mesh thing that I have in the window. Careful, Claire. Don't knock yourself out from fishing. I guess I could have done the fishing outside to get more fish and stuff, but, like, whatever. It's not even 6 p.m., but it's already time for bed. It's also time to end this episode after one day of work because, hey, that's what happens when we do a bunch of requests, right? Sure. Any last words, Azura? We'll see you next.